Last week, demonstrators in Iraq converged at the so-called Tent City protest to hear the Sunni finance minister announce his resignation live on stage, where he stated that it doesn't honour me to be part of a sectarian government. This disenfranchised Sunni minority, who were previously supporters of Saddam Hussein, are now of the belief that Iraq is being run by another dictatorial regime of Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki and his Shiite-dominated government. Maliki's government is suspected of being too close to the Shiite autocracy in neighboring Iran and is criticized for utilizing anti-terrorism laws to detain and jail innocent Sunnis, while Sunni politicians allege that the Prime Minister's allies are using intimidation tactics, such as parking tanks outside their homes, to maintain their stronghold on power. The Sunnis, who make up around a third of Iraq's 33 million population, believe that such tactics amount to making them second-class citizens. Western diplomats are now alarmed that the growing sectarian chasm could lead to a repeat of scenes from 2006, where the divide between Sunnis and Shiites led to up to 3,000 people dying in a single month, although even now around 50 lives each week are being lost. Reports in the last week suggest that Shiite militants are planning a fresh campaign of targeted assassinations and intimidation of Sunnis to prevent them joining in the street protests. With the Sunnis focused on obtaining greater power and the Shiites on maintaining their hold on it, civil war remains a real possibility. Some commentators believe that if the Sunnis in Syria can topple President Bashar al-Assad, another Arab Spring uprising could develop in Iraq, but this time without any foreign troops within the country to get in the way.